What's going on people of YouTube? I'm Steven with Purpose Lens Photo and Media and today I'm standing in the kitchen if you haven't noticed. And no, I'm not here to cook beef stroganoff, hamburgers, or chitlins. I hate those things. But I am here to teach you a basic concept in photography. Now you may be thinking, what in the world does photography have to do with the kitchen? Absolutely nothing. But I can use this kitchen to illustrate some things about photography. And today, if you haven't already seen the title, it's about shutter speed. Now, if you're new to photography, you may have heard of shutter speed before, or maybe you haven't. But either way, I'm here to demystify it and make it clear for you so you know exactly what shutter speed is. Now, there are other elements that go into this, but today we're just talking about shutter speed. But to get started, we first want to know what is shutter speed? So let's take a look and learn what shutter speed is and what a shutter is inside a camera. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and explain how a shutter works really quickly. So the first thing that happens is light comes through this lens. And once the light comes through this lens, it hits this sensor on the camera. This right here is what actually records the picture. So as the light comes through the lens, it touches or it hits the sensor and then it changes the light into digital uh, ones and zeros and stores that information on an SD card. That's a very simplified version of how it works, but that is how the camera works. Now where the shutter comes into play is this sensor here gets exposed to light for a certain amount of time. And that is where your shutter speed comes in. So the uh, length of time that this sensor is exposed to light is referred to as your shutter speed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and activate the shutter on this camera just so you can see it work. It's gonna happen really quickly though. And you could see it, I'm gonna do it again so you can see as really quickly. But basically what is happening again is there are two curtains uh, front and rear curtain. They're going to be open like this and the farther they are apart is going to be uh, your shutter speed and as they go past the sensor like this whatever is in between these two curtains is what's going to be exposed. So your shutter speed is what's going to determine that. Now on the camera itself if you're actually looking let me throw this lens on here Okay, so on the back of the camera here, this is your shutter speed. This is gonna tell you how quickly that shutter is going to move and how long the sensor will be exposed to light. And you can change that value. Now each camera is gonna be different how you change it, but these numbers is what's important. So you got one over 50, one over 80, one over 100. Now, if you're not good at math, and if you're a person like me who really doesn't like math, unless it has to do with your account being added to, then this part is going to suck. But this is all you have to remember. The higher the number, the one over whatever it is, the faster the shutter is going to be. That's really it. When your shutter is fast, it's going to be open for a shorter amount of time. When your shutter is slow, it's going to be open for a longer amount of time. So that's really how a shutter works. So let's go back and go to our analogy so we can understand this a lot better. Okay, so now that we understand what shutter speed is and how the shutter works inside the camera, I'm going to use this little cup here to illustrate the actual camera sensor. The water is going to represent the light that's coming in and this handle is going to represent our actual shutter speed. So if we look at this cup here, this 10 millimeter line here is going to represent perfect exposure. So the key is we want to get our exposure perfect. We don't want it to be below this line or above this line. So let's go ahead and use our shutter here to control the amount of light that hits our sensor. Now, that was a pretty quick shutter and we could see that we fell way below our 10 millimeter line, which means that our photo came out underexposed, which means if we looked at that, if we looked at our picture, we would see that it's really, really dark. And in order to bring the light up, then we need to slow our shutter speed down. It was much too fast. It didn't give the sensor enough light, enough time to capture light, or it didn't give our cup enough time to capture water. Because remember, our water represents light. So let's try that one more time, folks. Okay, this time, 
uh, we went over the line. So again, our goal was to get perfect exposure, which is around the 10 millimeter mark, but we went above that. So since we went above that, that means our picture is overexposed, which means when we look at our photo, everything is gonna be way too bright. So that means that we left our shutter open for too long this time. We need to speed it up. It was a little bit too slow. So let's go ahead and try it one more time, folks, to get it right. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but it just helps me illustrate, I think. So let's try it again. All right, let's just pretend, let's pretend like I got that right on the mark, okay? is right on the mark. Basically what I'm trying to illustrate here is that your shutter speed is going to determine how quickly light comes in and how slow light comes in. And if you go over the amount or if you fall under the amount. So the key is to balance out how much light comes into the sensor by changing the amount of time the actual sensor is exposed to light. Just how we uh, determine how much water goes in here to try to get as close to this line as possible by how quickly we turn the water on and off. So that's part one of it. Now there's another aspect of this as well, which is when we are controlling our shutter speed, our shutter speed is actually controlling something called our motion blur. Motion blur is anything in your picture that's moving. So it could be a person waving their hands. It could be trees moving in the background. It could be a person running past the camera, whatever it may be. If you're trying to freeze that object so that it looks like it's still and you catch it in mid motion, like let's say a bird's wings or a bee's wings or a kid running and playing, our shutter speed is gonna be the same thing uh, that controls that. So a faster shutter speed, just like this, if we fall below this line again, a faster shutter speed, any below, anything below this line is going to freeze action. If we leave it on too long, anything above this line is going to blur. So remember, below the line will freeze, above the line will blur. So remember that line being your exposure. So at the same time, if you have a fast shutter speed, you're not going to get a lot of light, but it's also going to freeze your action. If you get a longer shutter speed, anything above this line is going to give you more light, but it's going to give you more blur as well. So hopefully you can remember this cup um, when you're out there and the more you do it, you're just going to get a better handle on it. But I hope folks, that that explains shutter speed for you guys. If it doesn't, I really don't know what to do. Cause uh, like I said, I'm in the kitchen, I don't cook, but I could teach you this. But hopefully it made sense to you. And uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, feel free to go ahead and subscribe. There's gonna be a lot more tips and tricks and things that come out like this. Remember on Wednesdays, I post tips and tricks videos. And on Sunday, we do the longer form video. So again, if you're not subscribed, go ahead, and click the subscribe button so that and the notification button so that you're notified when new videos come out so again thank you to everybody who's been supporting me from day one i appreciate it, it lets me know that this is helpful to you guys and my main goal is to give you guys value so thanks again to those that have been that have been part of this thing but until then i'll holla at y'all i'm out peace